Hey guys, Laurel here. Welcome to the Tip Club. We help servers become pros in the restaurant and in real life. So today is all about the new servers. I'm sure all of you experienced servers can remember back to those first shifts and how scary they were and how overwhelmed you probably felt. So we're just gonna spend a little time talking through all the different things that you might need to know right off the bat. So our beginning as a new server is crazy. I remember it well. You have to learn the food products. You have to learn how to manage multiple tables all at once. You have to learn how to enter items either into a computer or handwrite them for the kitchen. You have to juggle drink orders and timings of when food comes out. There's just a ton to learn and you have to know it all at once. So it's a huge learning curve. But before we spend time learning how to do all of those things, I always like to have a little chat with new servers and just go over a foundation, some basic knowledge that they should know and be aware of that's gonna help them be more successful as a server and as they learn all these different things. So today we're gonna to have that chat. First of all, when new servers start, they usually expect that they're gonna fail and they expect that everyone else thinks they're gonna fail and there's just kind of like this doom about starting on the job. I just wanna demystify that and say, nobody expects you to fail. Nobody wants you to fail because, you know, if failure looks like perhaps putting in the wrong order, that, that affects multiple parts of the restaurant. That order gets sent to the chef, the chef makes it, you bring it to the customer, it's the wrong thing. So now the chef has to remake the right thing, the customer's waiting for 10 minutes, your manager's taking something off. You see it's just this snowball of effects that are going on that we want to avoid. And so that's why everyone in your restaurant really does want you to become successful and it's beneficial for everyone for you to learn how to become a good server because it helps everybody. But the only way you're going to become successful at this is if you believe you can become successful at this. I believe you can, so you have to believe it too. Number two. So, you may be a first time server. I completely understand that, that's very reasonable. But I can almost guarantee that your guests are not first time customers. I reckon they've been to a restaurant once or twice. They've probably built up an expectation of what the procedure is that they're prepared for. So in their mind, their basic thinking is, I walk into the restaurant, somebody greets me. I get sat at a table. I'm seated at that table. Somebody's gonna come up, take my order. From there, somehow it gets to the kitchen and eventually gets back to me. I eat my meal, they take away the plates, and then somebody comes back with a check. I pay and then I leave. That's really all that the expectation is. It's not that crazy. And so for you, you new servers, that's actually a really good thing because all you really have to do in the beginning is meet that expectation. You have to bring good food, which you don't have that much control out of, but you can bring the good service and you can at least meet the customer needs. And so before we get fancy and talk about sales techniques, before we talk about different ways to greet guests and all of that, I just need to see you becoming a good server and learning how to do that. So it's just following those customer expectations. Number three. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you've maybe heard me say this once or twice. To be a good server, you have to know the menu. You have to put the time in, it's your time that you're putting in, but you have to become the expert in the products that you sell and that you offer to customers. They're coming to you looking for advice. What would make their meal better? How can they enhance their experience? And you have to know the different things that go into that. And so that's where it just comes down to memorizing and learning. I have another video that I'll link up here and I'll link it below about how to learn the menu, but it's just something that you have to do and it shows that you're a professional and that you're invested in your work. That's all. But with that, you also have this great ability to tell the customer, you know what? I'm a little bit newer. Let me go find that answer out for you. Number four, ask for help. And not only ask for help, but know who to get your help from. So there's gonna be times where you're gonna get into a pickle. You're gonna have two tables sat over there. You're gonna have food that needs to be brought in. You've got all this demands, all these high priorities, and you cannot get to all of them. 
that's okay, it happens. It happens even to experienced servers, but you need to be able to foresee that and know that that's coming and be able to ask for help from other people. And so I would spend some time introducing yourself to servers before you get started and just letting them know that you're starting, you're new and you might need some assistance later on. You maybe need them to drop off drinks or to pick up a table. You don't wanna overdo this, but you also don't want to have five tables sitting at you, looking at you with their arms crossed and that's no fun either. So you're better to ask for help and to ask for help early instead of waiting until it gets really bad. But I also wanna encourage you in a few months from now when you feel like you've become that pro server to look out for those new servers and to really look out for them and to think, you know, do they need help? And even to introduce yourself and say, if you need something, come find me. Because that's how we build teams and that's how camaraderie is built within the restaurant. And I promise you, it'll serve you much more than just being an individual player. Number five, repeat the order. It's so simple, but so many people get nervous and they don't do it. I have seen servers who are so nervous that they didn't get the order right, that they don't want to repeat the order because they don't want to seem foolish in front of the customers. Whereas that's all wrong. Because if you put in the wrong order, it's going to come out wrong. And now the customer has to wait 10 minutes for the food to be remade. And you're having to explain that you didn't know and the management has to get involved. And it's just much easier to sit there and clarify with the customer exactly what they want. Even if you have to go back and ask them a question, you're much better to be that annoying server in the beginning of the meal versus having them be very frustrated waiting for their meal to be remade because you didn't listen to them and you didn't hear what they wanted. It also goes with writing down orders. Some servers can listen to an order and just keep it all in their head and they just have that ability. But again, we're not getting fancy until we get the basics of serving down. So I want you to write down everything. Even if you know it's three waters, still write 3W and circle it so that you know exactly what you're doing and what you're getting because you're going to get back to that drinking area, drink fountain, and you're going to be asking yourself, now wait, what was it? And so you're just better to take the things out of your brain and put them on your server book and that's gonna serve you so much better. The last thing I have for you is I want you to be successful both in the restaurant and at home. And the best way to do that is to leave the restaurant and to leave the stress of the restaurant behind. Nobody ever said working as a server was not stressful. If they did, they don't know or they haven't been a server. It's very stressful and it's very easy to take that home with you and to get server dreams where you can't sleep because you're so stressed because you're thinking about bringing diet cokes to the table and did I do that and did I bring them a lemon all these things that builds up if you had a bad customer experience that can easily take over the rest of your day and so my advice is that you spend about five or ten minutes in your car before you get home and you just check in with yourself you ask what was this shift like what happened what did I do well what could I improved on and by asking that, you're able to reflect a little bit. And by reflecting, you're able to, to categorize things. If it's something you can improve on, think back. What, what happened? Did you, was it something that you had control over that you just weren't paying attention about? Was it too many tables? Was it just too many guests seated at the same time? How could you have handled it better? So you're able to learn something from whatever didn't go quite right. And the things you did do well, you'll know that, okay, next time I get into my shift, I know I can do this. And I did this really well last time, so I believe I can do this well again. So you see, as you process through that, you're able to kind of release yourself from feeling those feelings. And then you can be more at peace when you're off work because you've already reconciled with yourself. It makes a huge difference. Friends, I believe you can do this. I believe you are ambitious and you are driven and I know that because instead of watching Netflix right now, you're watching this video and you're trying to learn more about becoming a better server and that speaks volumes. You're gonna do great out there. It just takes time and practice and you just have to be patient 
and get through all of the lessons that we've had to learn along the way and eventually you will become a great server. I have some additional training for new servers down below so feel free to check those out. Question for you all, what has been the biggest struggle trying to get up to speed as a server? Whether you're a couple weeks in or a couple months, what do you feel like has been the biggest challenge for you? And then for you more experienced servers, if you're watching this, I'd love to know what was the tipping point? When did you feel like you went from being a server just learning to all of a sudden, oh, I've got this, I've got a handle under this. And so we'd love to hear that story and just love that comment down below. Thanks for joining us on the Tip Club today. Feel free to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and I'll be seeing you next time. Have a great shift.